last week to be able to come back and score on the first time that way? Um, that play, we just worked it throughout practice. I mean, like Monday through Thursday, just worked that practice. And just my patience then with the fastball line that we have, I just saw increasing, just took it. Stacey's supposed to be day for the seniors. You kind of stole a little of the thunder there. How much um, fun was that? This game was um, mostly for the um, seniors. Our freshmen, we had a, um, a player that we played for, so my player was Casey Rod. And I just told Casey that I was going to just give it all on the line for the seniors because I know this game is important for the seniors, so we just went out with a win. Stacey, how refreshing is it to be talking to us after a victory? Um, it's refreshing. I mean, just just for the win alone that we have. I mean, we've been struggling for like three weeks, three weeks for now. I mean, to, to get the win, it's a blessing. Tracy, uh, just if you could take us through you know, the moment that Darius got hurt, you guys all sort of um, got down on one knee. What you were thinking, you know, what you guys said to him, maybe you can cut it off. Um, we'll just let Darius like, know that you know we're here for him. You know, we're right here with him. You know, we decided, you know, say a prayer, you know, um, just keep faith, you know, and just hope everything's all right. That's the only thing we could really do, you know, just pray about it and just hope he'll hope he, um, come out front. What exactly happened? Because they were saying, I mean, we couldn't really see what happened on the field from what we were saying, but it looked like he just sort of collapsed or whatever right, right after the talk. What, what happened? No, I don't think he collapsed. He was still, con I mean, he's still conscious. He's still going to be able to talk. He was talking back to us, you know, he was like, he all right. You know, he even made a joke one time, you know, so um, I think he's going to be fine. Um, I, I'm not sure what really happened. I was on the other side of the field, you know. I'm not. I'm not too sure about what happened. But, um, you know, um, I think it's gonna be fine. Tracy, take us through uh, your play to start the game. What you saw and what that felt like. Um, we, we was in a call, you know, Mandy to stop the bubble. You know, um, teams been you know killing us with the bubble um, in the last few games. You know, um, I mean, just watching. From, I mean, I knew it was coming. You know, to be honest, um, I knew it, was, it wasn't the right call for it. I knew it was coming, so I just decided to just take a chance on it. What 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 did you guys change, or was it just film study, or you know that you knew that they were beating you with that sort of play, and now and then you came over and stopped it? I mean, it wasn't necessarily film study. I mean, we prepare we, we prepare for the games. You know um, how we prepare for the games every every week. You know, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, but you know we take the same preparation to the game. You know, so um, I mean, Coach D really put us in a, in a perfect call. You know, um, you know to be honest. You know, um, I, I just decided to make a play. You know, um, I knew it was coming. I watched film one. I know um, two get on the ball, one and three off. That's a little, but that's any team. You know, every team ran at Oregon, so I knew it was coming. Tracy, as much as the defense has been kind of beaten up the last three weeks to, to get four turnovers today, get two touchdowns and set up another one at the three-yard line, how satisfying was that as a group? Oh, it's very satisfying, you know, for us to come out here, you know, um, just – play up to our potential, you know, um, and we definitely got a monkey on our back, you know, with losing three in a row, and, you know, it's very refreshing, like Stacey said, you know, to just come in and get a win. Coach Bogan said that he was hoping you guys would have been upset about all the, you know, talk, the bad talk the defense we get in the last couple of weeks. Did you guys hear a lot of that, and how much did it sort of bother you, you know, considering what sort of happened in the last few weeks? Oh, of course we hear a lot of it. Um, it's everywhere, on social media, you know, around the school, um, you know, it's everywhere, you know, so, I mean, you can't run from it. And especially with a time like Miami, if you do bad, you know, people going to criticize you. You know, so, you, I mean, you just got to um, fight through the adversity, you know, and just come back strong, you know. You can't be down by, about it. You know, you just, just got to have a tough chest about it and just thick skin, you know, just fight through it. Tracy, can you talk about the, the, the difference in that, that bubble screen today? And you, you mentioned you've been getting killed on that same play. So can you explain what was the difference in what you saw or was it how you executed this one as opposed to the other ones that you've been getting hit on? I mean, the, the difference was really the call. I mean, it was it was like cover two, but it was a different it was a different type of call. It was a call where I got a lot of freedom. You know, I can just go ahead and jump in instead of like just setting the edge and just being firm on the perimeter. You know, I, I just really had a chance to make a play on it. You know, Go D told me to make a play on it, and also during the week and during scout team, I, I made the same play. You know, and um, so they told me I was cheating, but I tried to tell them I knew what was coming. One more question for these two guys because they got to go. Yeah, you, both you guys are gonna be playing in the cold, like. I think it's going to be in the 20s, whatever, next week. Have you ever played in weather like that? And what's that like for a DB? I ain't never played in weather like that. <laughs> and I'm from Miami. I was born and raised at Memorial Hospital, you know, so. <laughs> I don't know nothing about the cold. The cold that I ever played in was when we played Duke last year, and I think it was about 50. <laughs> but, but I mean, and I mean, I mean if you play football, it is what it is. You don't, have to, you don't have to come play. Probably, I, mean, I really don't know. I hope I be known. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> With that said,